Are you as a diabetic allowed to drink alcohol? And if yes, what kind should you choose? And what does it do with your blood sugar? Coming up in this video. Let's go! Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom and I've been a type 1 diabetic for over 30 years. On this channel, I help you on your diabetes journey. So alcohol and diabetes. I have quite a bit of experience with these two because I grew up in the Czech Republic where beer is a national drink and where alcohol is cheaper than water in a restaurant. But anything I share here is just my personal experience, not medical advice, so please keep that in mind. So are diabetics allowed to drink alcohol? Well of course we are, once we reach the legal age there is nothing to stop us, right? But please be responsible and don't overdo it, especially if this is your first experience, because you could easily end up with a severe hypo or in a DKA. Experts recommend to not drink more than two drinks a day if you're a man and one drink a day if you're a woman. But experts also recommend to brush your teeth after every meal, which we all do, right? Before you drink you should know what alcohol does with your blood sugar. And alcohol doesn't spike your blood sugar, it actually brings it down for a few hours after drinking. What raises your blood sugar are carbs that are often included in some kinds of alcohol. Drinks like beer, cider or sweet wine, they always spike up my blood sugar quite a bit. And that's why I'll, I always bolus before drinking this kind of thing. If I'm not already too drunk, of course. Drinks like dry wine are actually much better for diabetics because they don't have a lot of quick carbs. When I drink wine I rarely see my blood sugar going up and that's why I don't take any insulin with a glass or two of dry wine. No matter if it's white or red. Spirits like whiskey or vodka don't spike your blood sugar at all because they have no carbs in them and I never bolus for them. And maybe that's why I love single malt scotch so much. When it comes to cocktails and mixed drinks, it's always a good idea to look at how the drink is actually made, what's going in the drink. If you drink vodka with orange juice or whiskey with coke, there will be a lot of sugar but not coming from the alcohol but coming from the orange juice or the coke, so be aware of that and bolus appropriately. I know a few diabetics, including myself, who drink uh, whiskey with a diet coke or club soda and uh, that works really well for me and uh, my blood sugar stays in range after drinking these kind of drinks because they really have no carbs and are so much easier to manage than mojitos, margaritas and all kinds of fancy cocktails. Drinks like mojito and margarita are more challenging for me although I like them too because they are made with sugary syrup and you never know how much of the syrup there is. I usually ask for a less sweet version of these drinks and just estimate how much uh, sugar there could be in the drink and bolus a little amount of insulin for that specific drink and then just observe what the blood sugar is doing. I'm curious, do you drink alcohol? What kind of alcohol you drink? What does it do with your blood sugar? And do you take extra insulin for the alcohol you drink? Let me know in the comments below. So what are the other things to watch out for when drinking alcohol? The biggest one in my opinion is a hypo caused by a drop in blood sugar during the night after drinking. This is caused by the liver not being able to raise your blood sugar levels how they would normally do if you had not been drinking. And this is really something to watch out for because when you're tipsy it's so easy to confuse the signs of hypo with the signs of being drunk and not treat the hypo until it's too late. If you take insulin it might be a good idea to slightly decrease your basal rate during the night after drinking to avoid any unexpected drops in your blood sugars. You should also keep in mind all the negative effects of alcohol on your liver, on your heart and on your other organs that are already under pressure from your diabetes, so please treat them nicely. If you want to learn more diabetes management tips, not only about drinking, click on the playlist on the screen now. And remember, what works for me might not work for you, we are all different, so always consult any treatment decisions with your doctors. 
I will see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao!